morning guys just thought I'd do some uh, tips and tricks for you um, so basically shots where they don't look like they go but they do um, and there are some occasions where you are in this position in an actual match um, I'm only using these balls as a guide so it doesn't matter if you're playing nine ball, ten ball, or eight ball, any type of game that um, that you're gonna get in situations like this. So what we're gonna do is like pot the twelve where the three ball pocket is, pot the nine ball in the seven and four pocket, and pot the eleven ball in the um, uh, corner pocket uh, and then the last one the 10 ball you can see that's tight on the rail um, and we're going to attempt to get to the black uh, when the white's also tight on the cushion so we're just going to start off with that one um, it's just basically a, a, something to show you that it's always possible to pot a ball if you're in this position. So if I do show you what happens on every shot. So you can see that if you work, work out the point of contact on the cushion to the point of, of the object, you, it is possible to pot those balls. Um, so it's the same with this one here. Um, let's say you're in this position and <clears throat> you're on the last ball and you think, I don't know what, really what I can do is I can pot the nine off the seven. So you work out the point of contact here to make the, make the ball go uh, towards the pocket. And it kind of happens like this. I mean, I'm not too worried where the where the uh, balls are going to go. I'm just showing you that there's a possibility to actually um, pop balls when they don't look like they actually go. Um, this one is slightly different. Um, I can do this easily on the UK uh, table. Uh, but this one is a little bit harder so the idea behind this is to basically jump the white to hit the 11 to force that to jump over the 5 and 1 so you can see that there's literally physically no no path through it so basically this should happen. This may take me a few attempts at this, so forgive me if that's the case. Well, there you go. First go. So what happens is this. You'll see. <clears throat> let me uh, let me slow that down. So what happens is the white jumps, causes that ball to jump, and it goes straight in. That pocket so um, so that what I'm just showing you that there's always a possibility that these shots are on if you feel like there's no no shot on so um, and there's, now there's one more and this one is quite tricky so let's uh, say that you're in this position, you've got to get down for the black and you think, oh God, there's only like forward and back, what do I do? Um, well, in this instance, you can actually manipulate the white to actually come away from the cushion. So, I mean, you can see here, How I've done that is kind of playing the white into the cushion before the ball, but with pace. 
that causes the white to come away from the cushion. Um, I mean, you can see here that it doesn't matter if it's like a, uh, down the long rail or the short rail, if you're in that position, there is a possibility for you to actually get the white away. And I've just, just shown you how to do that. So, so the idea is, as you've seen, it's like aiming in the cushion before the ball and then this ball goes in and it causes the white to come out um, so basically just showing you all the scenarios that you do find yourself in in a match that if you've lost position or you find yourself in those positions, not in those exact positions, but similar scenarios that you can actually do something with with it. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to just at least show you um, these shots. So hopefully when you get into these uh, scenarios that uh, you might remember, or oh, actually, I can do this, um, this type of shot. So, yeah, well, I hope you enjoy, hope it helps you um, in matches, if you are in those situations. Um, so, um, yeah, thanks.